Hello everybody, this is Video Boy and welcome to Archbello Devlog number 30. So this devlog is going to be pretty short, I don't have too much to say, but next week I'm going to do more explaining. So I added the client side prediction and correction and it works great. So as you can see in the example right now, the client and the server have the exact same speed so you don't see any lag or difference in movement. But now if you set the client speed as higher than the servers, the client's position gets corrected to be where it's supposed to be. So as you can see it kind of lags behind a little bit. But you can also do the opposite. So in this example, the player speed is lower on the client than it is on the server. So as you can see, the player's position is corrected so that it catches up to the server's speed. So no matter the situation, the client is always trying to catch up to the server or slow down to match it. So at the moment, clients can't do speed hacks. I still have to do some tweaking to get all this done to make sure it works well on slow connections and things like that. But right now it's looking pretty good. Another thing that I should mention is that if the player's position is being corrected, it's only being corrected on their client. If you look on other people's clients, it doesn't look noticeable at all. That's because the clients only see what the server sees. So when you're the actual client doing this stuff, you're doing it in advance with the prediction, so then you have to be corrected. But as far as the other clients are concerned, your position is exactly the same as the servers all the time. Okay, so my goal for next week is to make a better tile and map loader that will load all the stuff from tiles. I'd also like to get rid of some libraries I'm using. So libraries are just packages of code someone else made that you're allowed to use. So right now for HTML5, I have five libraries just for the multiplayer. So I'm gonna to try to limit it down to just one. The benefit of this is that it saves download space and also a space that's saved on the hard drive, even though if it's not that much. And also it might be a bit more optimized if I do that than if I use libraries. So next week, I'm definitely going to explain all this stuff. It's all related to JS01. So if you wanna do some research on that before next week's devlog, go right ahead. Right now my priority is map and tile loading, so I'm going to make sure I get that finished this week, and I can always do the optimization later on when I do the optimization update. Anyways, thank you for watching, I know it was a short one, please leave a like if you like the video. If you're new, please subscribe, it helps a lot. Also check out our last episode and our 100 sub special. And also for those who are wondering, the first tutorial will be out this Tuesday. It won't be that interesting though, it's going to be about setting up some software to start developing and be able to follow the tutorials. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Bye.